This is a brief instructional video on the 5AR4 or GZ34 tube. This is an excellent rectifier tube and it's used in guitar amplifiers and many hi-fi applications. It was first introduced in the metal base type as you, as you can see here. The date code is frequently stamped in the bottom on the second line, this one being a 1955. The uh, plates inside have smooth edges. The tube usually has a couple of D-shaped getters on the top and the label is almost always obscured. It's rare to find one with a good label. This tube was replaced in the later 1950s by the uh, fat base type, as stated as because the base is larger than the, uh, the glass on the tube. And as you can see, this one also has smooth plate edges. And uh, typical of Mullard tubes, uh, will not actually in this case have a hole in the base as most of the later Mullard tubes generally do have a hole in the black base as you can see by this particular tube here the black pin in the center has the hole in it this is a later version uh, this one is date coded 1964 Mullard frequently made these tubes for other brands of amplifiers this one being made by uh, for Bogan and uh, this is the so-called four-notch plate type. I'll try and get you a closer image of that. The four notches can be seen in the edges of the plate. Frequently the labeling will be such that it actually says by Mullard and the date code again can be found around on the base. This one being a 1964 version. A later version had copper line plates and seven notches in the plate and as you can see when you revolve it very carefully you can see the copper along one edge. Uh, these tubes uh, also had uh, sometimes the new logo stamped on the base frequently said 5AR4 GZ34 Great Britain. Then Amperex also made a great line of these tubes this one happens to be a Siemens made by Amperex in the Brussels factory, which has the L factory code. The Amperex tubes have smooth gray plates. Here's another Amperex tube that was made uh, for Scott by Amperex, as it says. And again, it'll say made in Holland at the top, along with 5AR4 GZ34, and has the smooth gray plates. Finally, one, two, a couple of tubes to avoid. Sometimes National bought their tubes from the Soviet Union. This one uh, says made in USSR, and it clearly is a Russian tube. Shiny plastic base, no hole in the centering stud. But as you'll notice, several tubes of this type were mislabeled. This one being a service master, and it says Germany, but it's exactly the same type of tube as the Russian tube. Hopefully this little primer has helped you on identifying a very special or very rare 5AR4 tube, which all of these, uh, these vintage tubes will sound wonderful in your hi-fi.